So I took apart the string trimmer from Wild Badger because I'm just not a fan of it. So we're gonna put this on here. Ego needs a new rotary scissor anyways, just because I want a new one. And then this right here has that little star. This is the Wild Badger attachment from the string trimmer. Let's go ahead and take this apart. See what's holding it down. Rotary scissors. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite. Cannot beat the rotary scissors. Don't lose that. Don't lose your bits and bobs. Is it the same? Oh, it's the same one the Ego uses. Okay. Okay. So it's already in there. That little adapter is the same one that Ego uses. It's a seven and seven. Hey, seven and seven, that's a good drink. So here's the badger. I like to take everything out so it's like stuck. Like we're doing the installation again. Make sure that's the adapter it actually wants. Yep, that's the adapter for the wild badger. Seven and seven. I find if you just take the rod and then do that first, like stick it in there first, it's a lot easier for you to guide it in. Please, sir, I may have another. Please, sir, may I have some more? Oh, yes. That is a tight situation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wild Badger. Rotary Sizz. Let's test her out. Put that on nice and tight. Yes, sir. Oh, that is nice. Very. This is snappier. That is, woo. my gosh. I mean, that is a little bit snappier. Look. Oh, delicious. That is a crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Okay, now, so this is done. I'm gonna use this today. You know what? Should we put a little grease in there too? Undo these and put your grease on. I took the batteries off, don't worry. Be safe. You grease it up in three places, one, two, and then three here. More, more, more here. This is Mariyama, so use Mariyama grease. Put the grease in there. And of course it's raining. <laughs> Looks like it was a little bit thirsty. Of course it's gonna rain when I wanna edge. Of course you're gonna wanna rain on us. The nice thing about using the Wild Badger with the rotary scissor, I can use the strap. Look at us, man. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. So nice. It's like almost weightless now. Lovely. You guys ready? You ready for us?
Road 3 Scissor Actions. Very messy in the reins. Take it easy. My dudes. Oh, shit, it's hit. Oh, God. My damn hip. Here's what happened. When, when we got the new boots, I was feeling a little too good. And that stupid twisting motion in the store, the third twist, you can see I clearly freaking, I, I clearly messed up my, that's just it. It's like, you really have to nurse this sh or else you can mess up your hip really bad. So, a lot going on in the lawn. I'm getting a lot of moss here. Definitely need some iron. I see that the Po is getting a little bit lighter. Usually when it gets really light, that's a good sign that it's dying. I don't like this moss. It's kind of frustrating. Let me go ahead and show you the main thing I'm gonna have to cut today. Looking so good. I'm pretty sure this germinated because it got super thick over the past couple days that I haven't cut. I'm a little worried there's maybe some nut sedge. There's like maybe three pieces of nut, hmm. There's some nut sedge. There's also some fescue in here. It's crazy. It's like when you just leave it alone. Now, here as well is getting a little bit lighter. I'm pretty sure that's the product working. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Product's working, because POA is definitely not this light. It's light, but it's not this light. If it's this light, it means dying. So we just gotta be patient, okay? <laughs> More updates. I have, it's, it's been raining. It finally stopped raining. So I was like, heck yeah, let's freaking do something in the lawn. I know I just seeded. I really wanna cut just to maintain the nice look. Now, a lot of people are like, don't, you know, don't mow for three weeks. And I usually do that. But when you're just over seeding and most of that seed and nutrients went into the little aeration, aeration holes, you can totally mow as long as it's light mow. On and off. My neighbors is looking really good. I mean, that's dying so nice. So nice. Oh my goodness. That is so good. That is so good. So good. All right, let's go check out the back. My hip is feeling some type of way. It was just getting better too, but we had to, you know, copy Mr. Reno 911, messed it up again. <laughs> okay, here. What is going on back here? Now, you guys tell me, should we just kill this all off anyways because it's just not looking right? I'm very tempted to just kill it off. Very tempted to kill it off because, you know, look at it. <laughs> it was poet filled anyways. So do we just keep on overseeding? I mean, I do like the, I mean, we have so much different grass types and cultivars in here. Again, we have Baron Brug, we have Baron Brug Turf Blue Pro, Baron Brug Landscapers Mix, Scott's Sun and Shade, Scott's Perennial Rye, Scott's Kentucky Bluegrass. I'm sure we're missing a ton of other bags. There's a ton of bags we put back. We even put a little bit of, uh, in the collar, we put the hat trick and fireball. I have not put hat trick and fireball here, and you can tell, because it's not resilient. It's rough back here, guys. I don't know what to do back here. I don't know what to do back here. I, Let, let's do this. In the comments, let's take a vote. Do I spray it, wait three weeks and overseed full on reno? All this right here. because it's just dead Poe anyways, right? 
do the full dealio, aerate, another dethatch, major soil, some sand, or do we just let it chill and then overseed in a couple weeks? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. This is not my decision, this is your decision. In the comments, tell me what to do. Kill it off, wait three weeks, overseed, or just wait and overseed and stack this, these, this salad bar. It's up to you. It's not my decision this time, it's your decision. So in the comments, make it happen. Let's go to the backpack. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking right. Do we got any doo-doo? No? Great. Look at the dandelions. They're coming out. They're coming out in the field. We don't have any. We don't have any dandelions. All we got is poa. <laughs> this could use a cut. It's getting really, really thick. Really thick. Tall fescue, Kentucky 31, zero weed seeds. This is, this is pretty much one grass type. This is pretty much one grass type. It just kind of choked all the old grass out. It was pretty much down to bare dirt. And you can tell we're not going to get any dandelions. We have to edge there. But this section here is definitely getting dandelions. And our section will not. It's just too good. This little section is just too, too nice. Back back is amazing. One more time, in the comments. Are we going to spray, get rid of all this? Not that, that's, that's hat trick and fireball. You can, you can tell the difference. You see the hat trick and fire, you can see the separation. Hat trick and fireball is, is an amazing cultivar. This Scots, this Berenberg, garbage. In the comments, holler at me, let me know, it's your decision. So I'm thinking, let's bust out the wild badger. Let's get a good edge everywhere. Back, 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 main, sidewalk strips. Light mow, light mow. Let's go ahead and put, we'll keep that open for the airflow. One of my neighbors keeps having ragers over here. <laughs> oh, we got a snail. We got a snail. See, I can't pressure wash it because we have these things that stain. So it would be a complete waste to pressure wash now. Gosh, it is thick as all hell. It's just this POA, guys. At first it was worm castings. Now it's POA. <laughs> I don't want it to grow too much. And again, we just seeded, but you don't want to let it grow like that. So we're going to bag it with the web, something light. And then we have to fix the moss over there. So I'm going to hit it really hard with some nitro or, uh, nitrogen. Yeah, actually nitrogen and some nitrogen and iron. Guys, look at the POA. Fuck. That's bad. I mean, it's like taking over. <sighs> not good. That is not good. Let's do an edge first. So let's bust out our, let's bust out our table. Cause that's always nice to have. <laughs> Don't gotta be bending over. I'm telling you, this shit saves my ass. Get yourself a cheap table. <laughs> Got the badger attachment. Today I came to play. So I am going to use this cause it's nice and light. This right here was fairly easy to fix. It has this weird little design that didn't have instructions to it to add your line. So I usually, let's do two wingspans lengths, right? Not too much, because I noticed if you do too much, it gets kind of tangled. I'm guessing you just wrap it and then loop it, right? So kind of like this, kind of just follow it and then wrap this around. See, that's the only thing that's different from this and the ego. Ego, you just put it in and it's, it's done. This is a little bit harder. Wind line. Okay, so I'm guessing wrap this one underneath. That's what I'm guessing. And then wrap this one up top. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> this goes, I don't know how it goes. Oh, shit. see? Oh God, see? Looks like one of them infomercials where you're just like kind of struggling. Oh, that's gonna get tangled, I know it. Bruh, I really don't know how this goes. <laughs> this is not good. I really don't know how this goes. <sighs> okay, let's just go get directions. <sighs> that's my only, that's my biggest pet peeve. So it says right. Okay, 
wish me luck. <laughs> and then of course, you hit it with the dual of batteries. <sighs> That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not it. Mother of God. User error. User error. It shouldn't be this hard. It really shouldn't. Can you please just come the f off? This is really good for everything else. I just, I'm not a fan of... I'm just not a fan of it. It's good for the extent the pull saw the hedge trimmer the brush cutter user error call it user error Call it user error. This is what I'm gonna do. I Hate any string trimmer. That's not ego line IQ. This is what we're gonna do today Coming down hard now. That's annoying. I tried. <laughs> I'm excited about these though. Just because the strap and it's lighter actually, it's way lighter than the Ego. Still cuts good. I'm gonna get a new rotary scissor for the Ego. So I have two. I'll tell you why. My theory is the edges have a lot of grassy weeds. I think the rotary scissor is transferring them into the edges. So I need two separate. I'm gonna do two separate mowers, two separate edging tools. Now, is it excessive? I don't think so. I wanna prevent all transfers of weed seeds. So exciting. Looks like the Lord didn't want us to work today. It's Saturday. I grew up a uh, Seventh-day Adventist, actually. So you're not supposed to do anything on Saturday. It's a day of rest. Looks like we're resting today because <laughs> it's boring. <sighs> well, my dudes, at least we got to put the old rotary scissor on the wild badger. Greens is so rough, it's not even funny. Again, comment below, please. What should I do back here? Kill it off or just overseed? You know, keep, keep all this money that we put in here or start over with our elite, elite seed. I have everything now. Kentucky Blue, Perennial Rye, and Tall Fescue. Add some soil, go that route. It's up to you guys. I'll leave this up to you. Back, The backyard is your guys' call. But for now, at least you know, it works good. It's nice and, uh, it's peppy. It's like, it's like tr the trigger is just, you know, it's, it's like, <laughs> it, it feels good. It feels really good. So, Wild Badger, hate the string trimmer part of it hate it. I told you guys, I'm honest about my reviews. I, I don't care. I don't care. Rotary scissor, flawless on it. Amazing. All right, my dudes, here's the best. It's raining. I can't do anything. I'm gonna let it chill. That, that's a sign to let it chill. You guys are awesome. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.